pass away, this phrasal verb means to die. It is often used in a formal or poetic context. For example, my grandmother passed away peacefully in her sleep. Pass out, this phrasal verb has two meanings. The first meaning is to faint or lose consciousness. For example, she passed out from the heat. The second meaning is to distribute or hand out something. For example, the teacher passed out the test papers. Pass on, this phrasal verb has several meanings. The first meaning is to die. For example, my grandfather passed on last year. The second meaning is to transmit or transfer something. For example, she passed on her knowledge to her students. The third meaning is to continue or proceed. For example, let's pass on to the next item on the agenda. Pass in, this phrasal verb means to submit or hand in something. For example, the students passed in their homework assignments. Pass up, this phrasal verb means to refuse or reject something. For example, she passed up the opportunity to go to college. Pass through, this phrasal verb means to go or move through something. For example, the train passed through the tunnel. Pass over, this phrasal verb has several meanings. The first meaning is to ignore or overlook something. For example, the teacher passed over her mistake. The second meaning is to transfer or give something to someone. For example, he passed over the keys to the new car. The third meaning is to die. For example, my uncle passed over last week. Pass by, this phrasal verb means to go or move past something. For example, the car passed by the house. Pass for, this phrasal verb means to be accepted or considered as something. For example, she passed for a doctor. Pass on to, this phrasal verb means to transmit or transfer something to someone. For example, he passed on his wealth to his children. 